My wife and I decided to go on a short hike just outside of San Diego. Super easy, up and down, four mile hike. However, there was an unexpected snowstorm that hit the night before, so the trail looked like this. But we decided to hike the trail anyways. The snow was still pretty fluffy and just a little slushy, mostly packed on the trail, so it was a pretty easy hike. We make it to the peak with our feet just a little wet and we're able to enjoy a great view with minimal problems. Then we began our hike back down and the trail had changed. It was now slushy, muddy, and just straight ice all downhill. Oh. So everything's melted and it's like this slush and ice. And you don't know where you're putting your feet. So you like step and you just get a foot full of snow and slush. Definitely sucks, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna be one of those people that's like, this is the greatest moment of my life. Like I could just kind of have a bad attitude or sit and complain, but I kind of have to keep going. Look, it's finally not slushy. Never yeah. so grateful for past snow. And when life gives you slush, what do you do? You make slushies. Mm. I know that's the best thing I've ever come up yeah, with. That's... Now as funny and cheesy as that sounds, she kind of had a point. On the trail, we could have sat down, complained about our situation, which would have done nothing to solve the problem. We could have grumbled the entire way down, cursing the sky for making the trail so uncomfortable. But there was no evil intent behind what the sky did and how the trail reacted. The sky was just being the sky and the trail was just being the trail. Now I'm sure you're seeing the similarities with life. We don't always know what's coming next. We don't know what's around the next switchback or what that little white puffy cloud is gonna do in the next 45 minutes. But when you take lemons, which alone are sour and personally I would not eat raw, find some sugar and some water and you get lemonade. So we found the sugar and the water and enjoyed the fact that we can do adventures like these. And by the time we got to our car, we were tired and cold, but about 45 minutes away was one more spot we wanted to hike. And even though our shoes were wet and our socks were soaked, we put them back on. If we didn't, we would have missed this view. If we let our past experience dictate how we live and our future, we would miss moments like these. Sure, we were uncomfortable and slightly in pain, but we didn't want to miss the beauty that was happening right in front of us because we were stuck in the past. And as we started to notice the beauty, the pain kind of just fell into the background. You don't have to look hard. You just have to notice the beauty in the suffering. 